Crikey gamers, today we're going to review the Crocodile Hunter game. Let's check it out. Setup for this game is not easy. This seriously took me 20 minutes to put together the first time I played it, and now just trying to set it up for this review, it took me another 10 minutes. This is awful. The instructions are no help here. It is so confusing to put together, but once you have it, man, believe me, this fence is locked in. It is not going anywhere. It's hard to take down too. Other than that though, once you have everything set up, you are ready to go. You're gonna grab a man, of your and, and grab the fence post of their color. You can be Steve or his wife in the game. And what you're going to do is you start behind this enclosure. And how the game goes is you're going to pick these crocodile cards and you can pick any one of these and it's going to let you go certain amount of spaces. And so if I had this one that had me move five spaces, I would go one, two, three, four, five and sit right there. Now, uh, I can also protect myself from the crocodile. There's a lot of these plastic little barrels around the game, and if so, you want to land exactly in that spot to protect you just in case that allig alligator decides to attack. And when would he decide to attack? If you ever pull one of these danger, danger, danger crop bite cards. If that's the case, what you have to do is you have to press the button on the alligator and he moves around the board. Let me try that again, that first time sucked. Oh, he almost got me. Oh, so as you see, he kind of fakes you out a little bit on where he's going to go, and then he starts charging. Sometimes he just charges. Now, if he were to hit me, what would happen is my piece would go flying. <laughs> I love that part of the game. And of course, if that happens, then you're going to have to pull your fence post up and start at the beginning again and try to go back around. Now, of course, the game is over when someone completely goes around the whole fence and ends up back to the enclosure, and that is the Crocodile Hunter. Final thoughts, what do I think about the game? Well, folks, to be honest, uh, putting that board together is awful. <laughs> That's the only bad thing about this game. Uh, it, 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 just, it just takes so long to put together, even after I've played it before and I should know better. Um, hard, hard to get the pieces to snap together, hard to figure out how it works together. The instructions are not helpful at all. But once you put it together and you will figure it out, uh, it is a very sturdy fence. <laughs> I kind of don't want to put it back because uh, it takes a while to get those little barrels unsnapped from that uh, the uh, base board. Oh, it's awful. But besides that, fun game, fun game for kids. If you're thinking, man, Matt, that looks familiar. That sounds familiar. This gameplay. Yes, this is a total ripoff of an older game called Scaredy Cats where you're a bunch of cats going trying to get around the fence and getting away from a bulldog who's the same me mechanic as the gator. Now, to be honest, Scaredy cats cost a lot of money. This one doesn't. Running from a gator is more scarier than running from a little dog. Yay! I'm, I'm choosing this one. I'm so happy I heard about this one. Uh, one of my friends, uh, Spencer, who was on my podcast, Saturday Morning Sam Flange, he, uh, actually, I actually had him on there and he told me what his top 10 games were. And on his top 10 games that shot me was The Crocodile Hunter. And afterwards I went, wait, you gotta tell me more about this game. And so I was like, oh, okay, that's just a retheme of Scaredy Cats. And I thought about getting Scaredy Cats, but the price was way too high, so I'm not gonna pay that much. And then when I saw Crocodile Hunter, man, I ended up getting this for free because the guy who sold it to me sold me an incomplete set. He said it was complete, but it was incomplete. And when I called him on it, he said, uh, okay, well, I'll just give you can just keep it then. And so I had to find the missing piece. Well, I did find the missing piece, and I got that for free too. Folks, I got this game for free. What a great game to get for free, right? Uh, so this is a super fun game. Uh, my wife enjoys it. Uh, my nephews enjoy it. I, you know what? I, I'd probably even bring it up for my gaming group just to have fun, you know, maybe as a filler game. But unfortunately, because it takes so long to put the pieces together, I probably won't do that. But a a as a vintage game goes for kids, this is a super fun game. It's a lot cheaper than Scaredy Cats, and it is definitely worth your time. All right, gamers, that's all the time I have for now. Until next time, you know what to do. Game on!